Hello, everyone, and welcome once again to Taste of Thoughts. Dr. Arena, welcome, and uh, we're having a good day today. Thank you, thank you. We are uh, going to do something with pasta today. Yes, I realize that we never made a show with pasta, and pasta okay. is a great, great meal, and people love pasta. I love pasta. I could eat pasta five days a week. I think me too, even. I'm not Italian, but I, I, I love it. I really, really love it. And there is no rule that you have to be Italian to have pasta. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. So we're doing, two, we're doing a cold pasta today, right? Yes, in terms of uh, health and uh, reducing weight and uh, sugar content, the pasta is not as dangerous as uh, people many times think and afraid to eat it. So, actually, pasta can be used in many cases, just what we need, we need to choose right pasta. Choose the right pasta? Right pasta, yes. Okay. So, first we'll make cold pasta salad mm -hmm. and then we'll cook uh, pa um, uh, spaghetti with uh, mushrooms. Okay, so we're going to have, this one program is actually going to do both of those. Two, two, two meals, like different. Two meals. It is not, uh, they, they do not accompany each other. Like this is salad and this right. is this. So they're, we're going to have, different. We're gonna have cold pasta salad and then we're going to have a hot pasta meal. Right. Okay, that sounds great. That and we're starting great. with the cold pasta salad. Yes. Uh, I pre-cooked already since it should be cold. So I pre-cooked the three color pasta right. and you, it is whole grain pasta yeah, basically. Okay, so, so that's one of the things you wanted to point out. This is whole grain, right? Yes. Yeah. The uh, pasta can be made of uh, different uh, things. It, from flour, right? The, mm -hmm. the regular, like ravioli flour. or uh, ravioli or what all the things that from flour, white flour most likely. It may be from whole wheat like this one, mm -hmm. and it's maybe semolina, durum semolina flour. So, semolina but this flour. is the second right. part of our show. Right. So today, uh, the first part is salad. Mm -hmm. So what we have here, the pasta is whole wheat pasta, and it is cold. Whole wheat and, and they cold. Got, and cold. And they and got a... And you've added three different kinds just to what? You just kind of mix it up a little uh, bit? Yeah, I just, I just like it looks beautiful and it has, mm. it has some vegetable infusion inside. But if you don't like, you can use just regular, not okay. a big deal. And um, we'll add whole bag of uh, arugula. Arugula, Fresh that's baby all mixed arugula, in there. very nice. Mm -hmm. And now pasta uh, has its own taste, of course, but we want to highlight it a little bit and give something spicy. So I like to add peppers, sun-dried tomatoes. So peppers, sun-dried tomatoes. Tomatoes. Yeah. And uh, greens we already and added. So we just cut them. It is very easy and quick to make this salad. Very, very, very. I also, I bought different colors. So you want to be appealing, right? It's good for the eye, right? Good to see all the, the different colors yes, and, and there is make no it as difference. attractive as possible. Right. There is some difference between the taste of uh, green, yellow, and red peppers, but mm -hmm. it is hard to, hard to catch it. Now, now what's that in the, in the uh, container here? Is that oil? What, what is the liquid that's in, you know, I just, think, just from the I think peppers? It is, um, I think it's like vinegar from peppers. From the peppers, okay. This is how, it, how, uh, how mm -hmm. you can buy it in the salad bar, mm -hmm. Medi Mediterranean salad bar. I'm not talking about measures because it is all up to you. If you like more, you can place more. If you like less, it's less. We are talking about the point of preparation. Now, ab about glycemic index, pasta is carb, carb uh, meal. When we, when we cook pasta, we cook uh, meal with carbs. So, interesting thing is that cold pasta mm -hmm. has lower glycemic index than hot pasta. A lower? Lower. 
yes. glycemic index yes. than hot pasta. Than hot pasta. This is interesting point, mm. but uh, the preparation, as I uh, mentioned several times, the preparation can change the glycemic index. So in this mm -hmm. case, it works for us. So uh, when we make s a salad, it is beneficial, especially from um, whole wheat. So the glycemic index of whole wheat pasta is 40. 40. Yes, yeah. so which, is, uh, which, is, which is medium and the board of is low. Okay, so it's sort yeah. of in the medium, halfway between. Uh, halfway, <laughs> halfway between. And uh, you shouldn't be afraid to eat it. It is really, really delicious, especially if you like it, if you like pasta meals. Okay, we are going to have some sun-dried tomatoes. Sun-dried tomatoes. Oh, so, so good. And this is what is inside. This oil is very, very, very delicious. We'll add it actually a little bit to the salad. Mm -hmm. So, since pasta is a uh, carb, mm -hmm. we can add vegetables. So, there is no, it is, it is totally acceptable to add vegetables, whatever cooked or fresh or... But once again, the aroma is just uh, outstanding here. That, that's probably one of the reasons why you like uh, cooking so much, is because you have all this aroma <laughs> before you even start to eat it. <laughs> yes. Well, vegetables should not, the amount of vegetables should be, maybe proportions should be like 6 to 1 or 8 to 1. So it, it shouldn't be half and half. Otherwise, so it's too, too more, much vegetables. More, we don't need it. You don't want too many vegetables. We, we don't want okay. too many vegetables. We have uh, like a third, maybe we have the arugula. But so this, uh, this, this kind of a ratio you can see right there. have a little bit. Let me add some sun-dried tomatoes. And we are almost done. Almost done. Mm. You see, I even didn't ask you for help. That's right. I'm just, uh, just enjoying all this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, the secret ingredient is a little bit balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar. And the, yep. I prefer pomegranate. Pomegranate? It is okay. something is with this that it is, it's a vina. It has much better, much better taste. When I was a little girl, I was, I'd learned from one chef that to keep the salad alive and not kill it, you never should put the, put the, your spoon. So oh. you should do you it. You should scoop it and be gentle and turn it over. If I, if I were doing that, it'd be all over the table right now, but this is you, have, you have tremendous control. <laughs> so, the point is go down with along the wall. So, you ah. take it from the bottom and raise it to the top. So, I just and you're, then, you're turning it right there. And then yeah. it, is, it, it keeps the Nothing gets crushed or broken. Not crushed, yes, 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 yes. Balsamic vinegar. Mm -hmm. we Balsamic added. vinegar. We and uh, you can use any flavored olive oil. I like this one, the dipping oil. It has many herbs inside mm. and uh, salt and spice. It's nice. I, I just prefer this. But so you prefer that But you can definitely use whatever you want. For the dipping oil. Mm. And actually this is it. We mix it again. So you see, the dish, the meal is, uh, first, it is very, very quickly made. You can call it very healthy meal because it's a lot of vegetables, lots of greens, and cold pasta, which has almost low glycemic index, lots of olive oil. So great, great meal. You can take it for lunch. You can have even a light dinner with this. And... Uh, it's fulfilling when you eat it. Mm -hmm. You 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 
You're not hungry afterwards. Okay. I think what we forgot to add some salt and pepper. Okay, a little bit of salt <laughs> and pepper. And pepper. Well, are you ready to I think I for am degust ready to degustation? Taste it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm ready to taste it. It just it, it smells so great. I mean it just uh, this is Great how aroma. it looks like. Yeah, very nice. It's good for picnic also. You can take mm -hmm. this for picnic and the uh, kids uh, usually like pasta too. So it is mm -hmm. very beneficial. Let's do it. So you're taking two things and... Oh, look at this. Isn't it beautiful? It's, it's a piece of work. It's, it's a piece of art. It's so beautiful and so simple. It's a shame to eat it. <laughs> No, it's never shame to eat beautiful food. Never ever. Mm. Looks good. Okay. Looks good. We can put it right over here. You can put it right over here. For the time being. So. Oh my goodness. Very well, nice. Okay. Yes. Let's see how it tastes. Not salty for me. Don't know how it about you. Mm. For me it's not enough salt. Delicious. And um, um, also it's it's good to leave it a little bit, maybe for an hour or even two hours in the refrigerator. So the pasta soak the all all um, the dressing. So it it, it, mm -hmm. it is getting it is getting kind of marinates all together. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So if you mm. expect the guests or on to the picnic, you can make it a couple of hours. Well, before. those peppers add a lot of flavor to it. This is uh, delicious. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Now you can, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking this could be like a snack. It could be part of a meal. It could be a lunch. Absolutely, absolutely. You can have any time of the day. Great midnight snack. Midnight <laughs> snack. And uh, it's very convenient to take also. Um, even the kids can take it to the to school for lunch mm -hmm. or a student it, it it shouldn't be heating in the microwave just open and eat and it is fulfilling mm. so you have lots of fiber from whole for whole grain pasta and vegetables and vitamins and everything you need sun-dried tomatoes taste well. Sun -dried tomatoes yes 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 so we just added a little bit Spicy ingredients mm -hmm. and the uh, pasta <coughs> now became the very nice dish. Just just regular, very simple pasta. And this is the cold pasta portion of uh, yes. this program. And, and we uh, have one more for we today. We have one more. So we're going to go now into our uh, hot pasta. Yes. Ah, after we eat this. Well, now on the second half of uh, our program, and this is uh, hot pasta rather than cold hot pasta. pasta. Yes. And we have our spaghetti already boiling, very beautiful. And uh, we'll make them very, very simple with sautéed mushrooms. Okay, sautéed mushrooms, the spaghetti is already in the pot, boiling. Already in the pot. So all we need is uh, make, make mushrooms. Okay. Now, never wash mushrooms never wash before mushrooms? you b before you cook them no like okay. this uh, uh -huh. cut it because they they actually grown in the uh, conditions of the they don't need to be washed they don't Is need to be washed because yeah. when you wash them mm -hmm. they're going to be watery mm. and uh, okay not so so, it's, good. so it's not good to do that ah. oh, boiling over a little bit so that's good <laughs> this is a whole so you're, you're just wiping that down, yes. the, the mushroom. Would you like to do it sure. for me? And sure. I, mean, Absolutely. And meanwhile, I'll, I'll cut them. All right. Now we're trying to get all the dirt off the mushrooms, right? <laughs> so we don't, we don't want do a little bit of dirt. We want no dirt, right? No dirt at all, yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, lots of dirt on this one. So it's beautiful to cut mushrooms with uh, thin slices. So I did this and very thin, beautiful slices. How's that? Is that this okay? 
Yes, this is wonderful. Oh. You see, you made it. Yeah, very good. Very good. I'm getting good at this uh, mushroom washing <laughs> task. Gosh. Yes, I've learned it once, and I see how important it is because washed mushrooms they turn out totally different taste and uh, different also look they don't look appealing <laughs> so i'm learning you shouldn't try to rub them too hard now let's then... start to cook mushrooms on olive oil of course mm -hmm. so we have preheated preheated Kill it and we put mushrooms here. Oh, good! It was already hot. Very good. You see the teamwork. Teamwork. Always That's beneficial. All it takes. Just takes teamwork, and at least one person to know what they're doing. <laughs> That's important. <laughs> there we go. How's that? Oh, wonderful! Thank you very much. Wonderful. Otherwise, you would suck with this. <laughs> One more, and we're done. Now, we don't want to overcook pasta. Oh, I forgot to mention that this pasta is from uh, uh, Durum semolina. Durum semolina? Semolina. So, it is not a flower. Mm -hmm. It's from uh, durum wheat, but it is just what is inside and this coarse, um, coarse preparation. So because there are several stages for making mm. flour, so it may be very fine mm -hmm. or maybe coarse. The coarse that it is. This is more coarse. Yes, the durum, coarse. and it is uh, yeah. that is more healthy. So we have. Uh, Spaghetti almost done. Look at this. The real Italian spaghetti will make them al dente. Now, when you cook pasta like that, are you timing it or are you, or are you just seeing how the texture of it? How do you know when it's done? I try it. Uh, though it is listed usually on the box, the time, cooking time. Mm -hmm. But for any reason, it's it doesn't match my meal requirements, <laughs> so <laughs> or it comes to smash it, or it is uh, maybe not ready yet, so I'll just try a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes it is written seven minutes, but they're absolutely raw in seven mm -hmm. minutes. Okay. Always that. And also, let's say for the salad, you don't want to overcook them at all. Or if you make the casserole, we are not making it today, but it should be just cooked a little bit because then it is going to be cooked in, okay. in the oven. Right. So don't overcook it is the message. Yes. Also, I like spaghetti al dente. Al dente. I love but, spaghetti uh, al dente. Some yeah. people like it's them. The only way to have it. <laughs> this is a beautiful. I can, I can stand like passing aisles with uh, Italian pasta. Yeah. Even I have, may have a lot at home. You, you but can't get through I those always aisles. Always grab some. <laughs> you can't get through the aisle in the store when the the pasta aisle, right? Yeah. Yes. Cakes or oh, any bread, it's all okay. Ah, don't care. Here are our mushrooms. Very nice. You can. Choose any mushrooms you like. There are huge varieties in the uh, Whole Foods. Mm -hmm. They have different, different. So you went to Whole Foods to get the mushrooms. Uh, these I I took just in regular stuff a shop. But if oh, you okay. want something more, but it doesn't really matter in terms of nutrition. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really matter what you choose. Uh, you can use also white mushrooms. So nutrition-wise, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. A mushroom is a mushroom. Yes, and uh, you know what? We are almost done. Almost done. Always take a uh, bigger amount because you see, you were cleaning 
many mushrooms and I was mm -hmm. cutting them, but now we they, have just a little bit. They've just kind of <laughs> shrunk down a bit. Yeah. I think we are done with this. Don't want to overcook. See? This is what you asked me. Mm -hmm. How I know. Oh, how you know, right. Now I know. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to taste it. Mm -hmm. There you go. No, a little more. You feel the cook a little bit. A little more. See, now I know that just from the expression on your face that says a little <laughs> bit more. Very good to add any herbs. In yeah, summer, herbs? Herbs, yeah. yes. In summer, I have lots of arugula, arugula. In my, at my place. Mm -hmm. So, very delicious with fresh arugula. But add it here now so it becomes a little bit softer. We'll add herbs of, herbs of Provence. Provence. Okay, Provence. Mmm. Nice, huh? Very nice. You put it so they, they'll become softer. So you get about three pinches, three or four pinches. Yeah. And I turned off. Oh! And I turned off the heat. And the mushrooms are ready. And we are waiting for, for pasta, just maybe a couple of minutes. Beautiful and goldish. Very nice color, golden color, golden. brown and golden. Yeah, it's very nice. So, so I'm taking it off the heat aside. now. Yes. So those are done. We don't work, want to overcook them. Okay? Right. Once I bought spaghetti like this, I think, and they are really? going this way, mm -hmm. then you turn and another way. Wow, that's so a that's long a, strand. Of long <laughs> but I wanted to keep them long because it's Why? like cool. You are you are oh, oh, making something like this cool. Oh, yeah. But it was very difficult because yeah, you put them and I definitely I took huge huge pan and uh, I was placing them and placing them. They are softening, softening, and more and more and more. I made it. You did. You. you but then I couldn't eat them without the because breaking. <laughs> <laughs> if you eat a piece of a strand of spaghetti that long. Yeah. It takes you five minutes just to suck it up through your mouth, right? Right. right. <laughs> They're beautiful. They look so good. I think I even have I a didn't know, how picture. Did, I didn't know you could actually get spaghetti that is really long like that. Yes, yes. Ah. This place, Italy. Italy is E A T A T I. E A Italy, not Italy with I, but Italy with E A. Uh huh. Don't get it? No. <laughs> <laughs> we could try it again, though. <laughs> I'm a little slow. <laughs> <laughs> there is a market. A market, right. Um, around many states already. And now it opened in the Boston Prudential Center. Mm -hmm. It's a whole floor of Italian food. Okay. But the name of the place is very creative. It is not Italy. It's Italy. Oh, From eat. the word eat. E A T. E A T. Eat Italy. Isn't it cool? Yes, that is cool. Yeah, it and that's on the first floor of the Prudential, or uh, one of the floors. Not first floor. It was a one of the food floors. court. Okay, food it court was a court in the Prudential food. Center. No, now I get it. Okay. Okay, so uh, Dr. Rina, you actually drained the pasta now. Yes, pasta is done, and the mushrooms. And the mushrooms are all set done. to go. So set the idea is to put so it together now, right? The only thing left is to eat it. I love this part of the program. <laughs> Oh. Mm. Now let me. So what you do, you put mushrooms on top, so and this is what I uh, mentioned w w about what I mentioned that don't uh, use meat or cheese. Yes, we are not adding cheese. No cheese see. here. But you'll see. So this is How mushroom and oil, and what else did you put in? You yes, put and we'll also add some herbs oil yeah. also. And you put herbs of uh, Provence. And there is no such thing that too much olive oil. <laughs> you can never so have too much oil. That's it. Wow. Well, it should be. I have to tell you that this is uh, 
This is a treat. I think I'll start off by just tasting one of these. Mm. Yeah, it's maybe mm. too hot. Mm. But also, it is simple as actually all low glycemic meals. It's just simple, very quick mm. to make, and uh, any teenager, teenager can make it. Just keep in mind, choose durum semolina pasta. Durum semolina pasta. Or you can use also whole pasta also, but it is whole, um, whole grain pasta, it's a little bit brownish. When durum semolina is actually very beautiful and uh, white and yellow. And make something to f any vegetable to add. You can eat it like this, just, just with olive oil, of course. But if you want something else, we made it with mushrooms. You can cook also maybe tomatoes a little bit, or even asparagus. Not together, but as, as, so as another So you could do asparagus, or you could do tomato. Yeah, yeah, and, and uh, it, uh, it went very well. I, I, I love mushrooms, so I mm. usually prefer mushrooms. So mm. I think you are keeping quiet for a while already. <laughs> you Absolutely <laughs> delicious. Thank you. Absolutely <laughs> delicious. Thank you. But you know, <coughs> we should probably recap that in this one program, yes, we did two meals. Two meals. One was the... Uh, Cold pasta salad. Yes. Cold and the pasta. other, the other was the hot pasta. Hot pasta with spaghetti mushroom. with mushroom. Very simple. It's great. Two great meals. And delicious and very quick. Absolutely uh, delicious and healthy for you. Healthy for you. Don't be afraid to eat pasta. Just choose good pasta, and you and you'll be okay. And by the way, there's lots of recipes in uh, Dr. Arena's book which is the uh, Taste of Thoughts. Taste of Thoughts. And so uh, that's our program for today. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Nice job. I'm Thank you very much. For this I'm going to go back to eating. Is that okay? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. You can't lose this delicious meal. <laughs> well, thank you for watching us, everyone. And thank you uh, for watching. we'll see you next time. Next time. Okay. Oh, yeah. You can let's, continue. Let's go back to this. This is, this is great. <laughs>